The idea is that you step into the room and you look at one painting that has been chosen by the artist or musician and you hear their sound response. It's a very dark, atmospheric space. Uh, these are six brand new sound and music commissions. So this is your only opportunity really to hear new work by these musicians in the context of the painting that they've chosen. We have invited two artists from the contemporary art world, two composers from the classical music world, and then we tried to extend the reach by selecting one natural sound recordist, and at the other end of the spectrum, the kind of most of the moment urban sound, a young DJ, Jamie XX. <laughs> I think he was drawn to it because the way that the artist works by you know, assembling a, a single painting through lots of individual dots mirrors his own process as a DJ. You, know, you, you gather lots of different sounds together to create a unified track. You can hear the sound of ravens, you can hear sandpiper birds, you can hear a roe deer, you can hear the sound of wind across water, you can hear wind through the trees. And then on top of it all, you hear this very mysterious, rather haunting sound of a Sami. And the Sami are the indigenous people of the Arctic. And they call to the natural world, they call to the mountains. And the echo that comes back from the mountains uh, is the presence of their ancestors. And he includes this wonderful, very spiritual sound in his, um, in his landscape, in his soundscape. Uh, and it's a wonderful way of imbuing the landscape with an emotional quality, as well as hearing the natural sounds of the area. I tried to respond to it in a way that wasn't cartoonish, so it's not like, it's, a, it's not a one-to-one -one cor correspondence between how it looks and how it sounds. But instead, what I was aiming to do is surround it with um, material that's always in motion. So I worked with a sound designer called Jethro Cook um, to make sure that everything is moving slowly. In the, in, the, in the way that, you know, with art that exists in 360 degrees, you'd have to move around it to experience it. We do wonderful monographic exhibitions on Rembrandt, on Goya, 
but there are many routes to get to a painting and this kind of exhibition will bring in a different public. Um, it opens the paintings up to different types of people and I think that it's great for someone like the National Gallery to offer a really you know, varied menu of exhibitions if you like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.